I'm going to be doing this all across the state. I help launch this. Now, with regard to uh, teacher uh, salaries, it's a real, again, it's a real honor that this week I was able to put that in my recommended budget. And the reason I'm doing that is we've had a lot of success. We're already number six in the country as far as our students and our teachers. Our fourth grade uh, in reading, our students were second in the world. Uh, according to a chamber study, we're number one in teacher quality. So our teachers have done a great job. So what I'm going to put in my budget is a $2,500 uh, increase in salary for full-time teachers. Now that's not my entire budget. Uh, my entire budget will be coming out, but there'll be additional funds uh, for uh, our education system. And the reason why we're able to do this is we've turned our economy around. We've taken the tough, we've made the tough choices. We've reduced regulation, we've reduced taxes. We've made a better place for businesses to grow. And with that now, our state revenues are growing so we can put more money back into education. So this year, we are going to double down on our billion dollar investment that we made last year in K through 12 and make sure we are in, we ultimately are number one in our education system. On a totally different subject, there's legislation being filed to ban abortions unless a mother's life is in danger. Is that something you would sign if it was passed? I haven't seen, I haven't seen any of that. There have been some questions about where the 480 million is gonna come from. Sure, what's, if you look at what's happened, uh, when I walked in my first year, I had a $3.7 billion budget deficit. Uh, second year, $1.7 billion and $1.8 billion projected deficit. So we watched how we spent our money. Uh, we did the right things to get our economy going again. Uh, last year we put a billion dollars more into K through 12. We are going to double down this year in our billion dollar investment because our economy is growing. Our, our revenues are up in the state. Uh, we have a projected surplus now in our state. So the right thing to do is help everyone in our state that wants a job get a job, make sure our students can get a great education. Are you surprised by the mixed reaction that we've heard? From oh gosh. I, you know, I've, I travel the state and I talk to teachers, parents, principals, students um, almost every day. Uh, they know that if we're going to have a great education system, we've got to take care of our teachers. They're doing the right things. Now, I believe in, in uh, review, uh, measurement, and we're going to continue to do that to make sure we have the number one education system in the country. One more. Would you be able to give me your thoughts about that uh, possible legislation? I mean, it was an amendment on the ballot. I haven't, I haven't seen it.